All right. So this is our third stream at this point. I know I haven't put any of them on YouTube yet. I was going to get them all edited and put together at the same time when we finished, if we ever finish. Third stream of working on the first campaign mission for Railway Empire 2. They actually just uh, posted um, an update about their, their update plan uh, coming up, which does include their, their second update uh, planned on their roadmap is going to include manual switching. So everyone who wants that, great. Maybe it should have been released. Maybe not. I don't know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you know you have a dog man you can pet whenever you want in Final Fantasy 16s that make you want to play it? I mean, maybe one day. I do like MMOs, and I dabbled in, in one of them for like a minute, and I was like, eh, I don't know. But yeah, could be. Um, What what had I noticed when we loaded up the stream? Oh, yes. When I loaded up the game earlier, I noticed this train here completed the last tour without freight. This is our least stop to banger train which is picking up, well, salt, except there's no demand for salt and banger. There is, I believe, demand for lumber, but we've probably exceeded it. So what I was thinking is we should probably dump these resources um, sort of into our greater network as well. Um, or we do some direct routes, like maybe maybe this stop here, this Lee stop to banger, maybe we have it also do occasional runs to Portland or even further down. Although the salt doesn't have a demand until quite a bit further in. If we go ahead and filter for salt. So Boston needs it, right? We'd have to get it all the way to Boston. Now we could build war warehouses around the way, or what we could do is we could do a direct route from here to Boston. That might be a good idea. And actually maybe in Boston, which already has a warehouse, I think we could go and have it start stockpiling salt so that, oh, actually there's no demand for it in New York. Really? There's demand for it in Albany. Is salt not something that is just generically demanded? Oh, 70,000 citizens. Oh, 65. Sorry, I was just looking at the bars over here and it looks to me like Newark's as big as Boston, but I guess not. Bangor, not Bangor. Well, people say, depending on where they're from, say it different ways. I can say Bangor, but it feels awkward. So I say Banger. Do, 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 do. Clearly you can tell Twitch chat hasn't been invented yet. Yeah, yeah Twitch chat doesn't arrive in a city until they reach 70,000 people. So, okay, what I think I'll do is I will go and change this route. Um, I'll, Maybe I could still have it do a stop here just to get some local lumber to help this city grow. But then come back over here and then go to Boston. And actually, maybe what I'll do, then come back over here again and then one more Boston. So it'll make two trips to Boston for everyone to Bangor over here. That I think is a fairly good idea. And I'm actually wondering about throwing a second train on this now. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Also, let's be explicit that this is a freight line. So our filters later. Definitely bang gore. <laughs> like, is it Oregon or Oregon? So Boston, Bean Town, you have a maintenance depot, but let's go ahead. See, I'm just going to keep mispronouncing more and more things. And then, you know, it'll all just blend together and you won't be able to tell what I'm doing on purpose or not. Let's get you a warehouse. And let's get you to stockpile. I mean, let's get you to stockpile lumber in case more lumber gets delivered here than you have uh, demand for. But then also the salt. So same sort of thing. More salt can get delivered here. So the um, the Lee, what is it called? Lee stop route could dump more goods in Boston than Boston specifically wants. And then we can hopefully just shuffle it forward uh, to New York City or to Albany because we've got those routes running as well. So let's go ahead and get that going. <laughs> it's oregano. Mmm, delicious. Speaking of delicious, a little bubbly water. <laughs> Geography isn't a strong suit of mine. Are those cities accurate or just a random map? So this is, it's not a random map. Um, I'm sure there are some approximations for some of the placement. But it's not a random map, no. I mean, I think the little, uh, the little rule stops may just be like, just have been placed. I mean, maybe they're based on real things like Stevens Terminal and West Stop, but maybe, I don't know. 
Do, 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 do. No sweepies? No schweps? Well, if I'm going to have ginger ale, of course I'm going to have Canada and dry. Boston, Portland look very close together. They still, are, they, are you saying they're too close together in, here than compared to real life? Well, and then there's that, right? It's like, well, what is the sense of scale going on? Is there a projection thing? Approximations? Yeah, I don't know. To be fair, 1832 cities are smaller. There's that too. If I go up to Albany to you know, find Mason's Rest, I'll be furious. Guess we'll go to Speed 2, because even Speed 2 is not that quick. Still getting lots of breakdowns, even though things are mostly getting maintained. Oh, hello, connection bonus for Wool. And I do wish, and maybe this they do plan on some quality blind improvements. I'm hoping you can click. One of the things they're planning is so you can click on this and see where things might get delivered. Um, as well as the color coding. Okay, actually, so Banger does have, oh, because it does make cloth. Okay, but it's moving there on its own. So at the very least, we know that we can deliver some goods over here if we hook this up. I mean, obviously, we'll get money in general. Um, New York also has demand, although it's being fed right now. I think what I'll do is I'll just plan to get this connection hooked up. Whoops. Camera movement. I'm not too worried about the route. I just want to piggyback on existing stuff as much as possible. Uh, build. Clicky. Squint mode engaged. Clicky. Looking good. That's good. And then a little supply tower in between. And then just a train that runs between these two. Choose the Dunham. Specify that it's going to be freight. Albany remains largest city. Low rent and many jobs. My God, it's a golden age. <gasps> a cake thief has been caught. Goats everywhere. You know, I just finally watched um, Thor Love and Thunder, which was a film that existed. But the goats really made me laugh in that movie. <laughs> They're so they were the right kind of stupid. There was a lot of the wrong kind of stupid in Thor Love and Thunder. But the goats... That was good. Um, are you stuck? Or are you waiting? You're waiting for this to clear up. Yeah. Well, what I could do is I could add more lines here in Bangor, although I, Bangor, although I suspect that um, this is going to clear up fine. It's not that busy of a station. It's just that everything is lined up right now. I could say they were goaded. <laughs> Need to get goods 50 kilometers next to the city. Tear down everything and build rail. Yeah, baby. I mean, obviously, there's scale things. You know, I've been getting more and more excited for City Skylines, too. I'm like, so hyped. Oh, being serviced. That's why the station slowed down a little bit. There's some maintenance going on. Okay, which is fair. Do, 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 do. So that'll do that. How's our mission situation here? We had to deliver salt to New York, which I believe... Oh, yeah, we need New York to grow, so it has um, demand for salt. Right, which... We're basically setting up for because um, New York should be growing. It is growing. Can we make it grow faster? Oh, that's the wrong state. Well, it doesn't matter it's the station or the city. What can we supply it? It wants vegetables, liquor and cheese. You stuck on the I think we had a breakdown. Them, which was reason things were slowing down there. Yeah, I may have been a little conservative on some of my routing. We'll see. I believe we have a train set up from a Roberts Station over here. What's well, going to Albany? Which should eventually trickle to New York, but maybe what I should do is explicitly have this service both. I'm gonna change the loading, make sure it's specified to freight. Gonna alternate. Cheese and wine. Yeah, it does sound delicious, doesn't it? Mm, do, do, do. Wait, see this guy on too? Yeah, it's been announced for a while, a little while now. And it's looking good. The initial trailer I saw it, I was like, 
okay, we don't know much about it. It looks like it's got some quality of life features that we might be used to mods. But since then, more and more info has come out and it's it's looking, it's looking very exciting. Very exciting. What I don't get when some of these trailers come out and they've got so little info, you know, it's just like a little pre-rendered gameplay stuff. And you're like, yeah, and? You know, like, um, Fairly recently, uh, Flight Simulator, like Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 was just announced. And at first it looked like, well, is how, how different is it from FM 2020? Um, you know, like, you know, are we gonna be able to bring over all our custom content? Cause people have paid a lot of money for it and this and that. And it's like, and it looks, yeah, it looks pretty similar with the okay, maybe some like hot, ooh, hot air balloons. But now more details have come out actually, I think just specifically yesterday. And it's like, okay, now that's a substantial set of changes. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. What feature are you most looking forward to? I don't know. That's a good question, Carla Jean. I don't know. I really want more of a, I, I need to look at a more hands-on detailed something or other. Are you still completing things without freight? Tra Although that's the least stop the banger. Oh no, that's the Martin train station, which is kind of legit. So why are you stopped? Oh, it's being resupplied, okay. Yeah. Um. I guess I could do another thing where I run this way down to New York, which has demand for yarn. Or I could buy this clothing business. Actually, here's an interesting question. Over here, yeah, a bunch of cloth. Do we have demand for cloth? Is this unloading in banger? New York, or Quebec City wants a little. So there's, there's not huge amounts of demand. There's small numbers. Maybe we could make this factory work a bit more. Oh, yeah, okay. I would like to win this auction. We have enough money this time. Let's go and get it. What does this do? Increase the amount of packages waiting in each city. Great. So as soon as you get a 30% back, I'm kind of willing to spend as much as possible for the tech. I mean, it would be a little annoying, but... my business. That's going on the list. So what we could do is we could do a little turnaround here to head up to Quebec City. And we could have a route that runs between these two, which we don't currently have um, for passenger stuff, but also possibly for the cloth to cho -cho choose you. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So we're going to go from right hand side, right hand side, 2% grade should be fine. Build that, set direction, good. Uh, and then a new line connecting these two. We get meat in Quebec too, that banger might want. And this will be automatic, unless I make two separate routes, one for freight or one for express, but we'll leave this one on automatic. I think that'll that'll make a little bit of something something. Next five is flying ornithopter and undune and MSFS. What? Well, I didn't hear about that. And this first, I mean, it makes sense. The first load has got a lot of stuff because there's probably been a backup. Me. So I had it redesigned a bit. What, what did you do? What did you do? Why do we have a marker implying that we have something new? I guess I never looked at the Derwent. Maybe that was it. There's PBS two minute special about a song done by people from Bangor and how to say their name. Uh, we do need a fair amount of money for that. It's for sale because it's unprofitable. Brain farm near Pittsburgh. You know what? I will look to pick that up. Because we can build in this area now. Nobody wanted this junk, but you. Hang on a sec. What is this? No wagons can be loaded in this train station. Oh, did we? Oh, this was the thing. It was a sabotage. That's what the redesign message was. Jerk face. 
Don't we have a message? Don't we have something to do with Pittsburgh? Well, we have to grow the population. And so if we got Pittsburgh to grow, that would count as part of this. And generally speaking, is probably a decent thing for us to do. We can just cut through this gap, perhaps, or maybe even a short tunnel. We can connect Pittsburgh to Philly. And then we can also get our little grain industry going on. Yeah, that other guy is annoying. Gotta beat his stupid face up and just show how much we're better than him. Grain is demanded by all cities. Um, I think some industries might have a specific thing, but the citizens of a city just always need it. As far as I know. Okay. Left. You know what? I'm going to start a different set of platforms for this one. Or extend it out and do the, the, the four... Are we going to keep going south from Philly? I don't know, but I will. Unless we want to thumb through traffic. I think we're going to have to get to the point where we have four lines over in Philly. Maybe what I should do, or use up all four platforms, what I mean. I can preemptively build... No, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Wow. Do I know what I'm doing? But yeah. Now I'm going to connect second line. And from here, obviously, that tunnel is a stupid. percent zero through here this is i mean this is rough terrain let let's let's not uh beat around the bush here this is challenging terrain deep as I can go here. Hmm. Is this the Cumberland Gap? What's Cumberland Gap time? Or is it over here? I don't know my geography. Or my history. I, can move around a little. I don't know. This might have to be fine. It could be worse. Let's call this good enough and just move on. Bring a little north. I mean, maybe if we did here, I don't know if that makes much of a difference. Let's call it good enough. And parallel there. Good. Now at the other end, Just wondering if I if I did this I mean we got these two dead ends which is weird but I think that means that trains coming from Pittsburgh should be able to use any of these four um, and we might want to do the same thing on the other side but this should still help yeah we, we spent a lot of money but Hopefully it was for the right reasons. I don't know. Go and put... Oh, there's a bridge there. Supply, supply. Direction, direction. While we're at it. Um...
This is all heal, but well. boom in Pittsburgh. That actual event in this game. So, I'll leave the Dunham. I'm going to do two trains here, because I actually think this will be a busy enough route to warrant it. Probably why. I had no gridiron at the Carter train station. Yep, there we go. There we go. Now, the brewery here should demand extra grain. So the population wants it, but the brewery also wants it, which should make this um, business that we purchased fairly profitable. No clue on the Pittsburgh major sale town for a while. Yeah, it was. Um, I know in like playing Railway Tycoon 3 and stuff, you would see a lot of these events. Hey, Blissey, thanks for the sub. Um, and a lot of them, like sometimes it was random, like depending on what scenario you were playing, but there were also the scripted things of like, yeah, all of a sudden a, a, a steel industry shows up in Pittsburgh. Kind of vibe. That knitted brittle sprout? No, it's crocheted. I did it. I mean, it's see-through <laughs> because of the green screening. But yeah, I didn't make the back leaf big enough, so you can't quite see it unless I sort of tilt down a little too much. I made the I made the back leaf a little too small. Uh, last tour. Oh, um, we've got a maintenance building in um, in Philly, but let's add one over here too because it's a long road. Let's make sure we're getting regular maintenance since currently our trains do require quite a lot of it. New York is growing. Philly is not growing. We need to make sure these cities are growing here. Let's see. So beer is going to get supplied, which is great. You also do want grain as well as corn. So what I think we're going to do in Pittsburgh, we're going to add. Let's face it. We both know nothing about trade, but I have people for that. I'm, I'm guessing I just got screwed over again. We're going to get a grain stockpile over here. So if we end up with extra grain, in Pittsburgh, they might start shipping it to Philadelphia, which should help with the growth. Um, and what I'm thinking with this business, two point eight per month, Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh demands one point two. Oh, sorry, per week, per week, per week. One point two. Now, is this just for the citizens, and separate from the beer, which needs point eight? So we need two per week. And we're producing 2.8 per week. So there will be a surplus of grain as is. But we can, since we own this, we can also upgrade this if we wanted to. Beer and grain should make the city grow. At least it'll make the existing citizens grow. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so corn, wood, meat. These are all things we'd like in Pittsburgh. I suspect what we should do here is we should loop around back and connect Pittsburgh to Buffalo. That by itself seems kind of no brainery. Right track, right track. Yep, good. Uh, oh, tunnel. No. What are you doing? There we go. You're limited to 60, probably because of this corner here. There we go. We just get a little bit of a wider radius. Done, done, done. Build, build, build. Parallel. Build. Red iron. And another one over here. Couple of supplies. Set direction. A lot of steps. And Pittsburgh. The buff. 
I didn't actually click it right. Pittsburgh, there we go. And again, I'll put two trains on here. We'll leave it on automatic. Now, Buffalo. I think I'm going to warehouse the corn because Pittsburgh wants corn. We'll warehouse the grain because we can. Corn. If you do get meat delivered to you, I'll also potentially warehouse it there. Because Pittsburgh wants it. Although I'm not sure. Buffalo is not growing, I suspect, because it doesn't get meat. Well, among other things. There's no meat anywhere nearby. What the hell? Boston, Portland, Toronto. Oh, Philly makes meat. Now, that's assuming it's getting livestock. Oh, which it should be. We don't deliver the livestock, but it should mean that there is a theoretically supply of meat going on here. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's all being consumed or we're shipping it elsewhere. We could buy the meat packing plant, but we'd really want to also maybe also buy the... Oh, damn. There's tons of livestock waiting to be delivered. Are you not? Are you delivering some? Why aren't you delivering your full load? Is there just really not enough demand for it? Oh, we got tons of tech. Uh, I'm sorry, is this electric? Oh no, especially useful for, for express trains. Oh, well, let's get ourselves the Firefly. You call this a new locomotive? My stove has more power than this. Shush you. Whoa. Okay. All right. All our express lines are getting the warning. Okay. We've got some money. So we go to engine shed. We use the replace engine. Anything that's on. Anything that's in an express state. So not necessarily things that are set to express goods only, but anything that's been working that counts as express right now. We're gonna replace with the Firefly. I didn't realize we had to choose the one in the background. Which should get rid of those lightning exclamations. Good. Buffalo has grown. Albany is growing. You're waiting on train. Oh, some of the trains might've gotten reset by this. Boston Albany has fastest train 47 kilometers an hour. Oh baby, you can't take the tracks from me. All right, Pittsburgh is growing, which is good. Philly still isn't. Although it may, because it should get some beer deliveries. Goods are being produced. It's waiting on corn. Corn and grain. It would like. Although some of that... Warehouse. We're warehousing... Oh, let's warehouse the corn as well. So if some gets delivered, it'll be that. Oh, see, this just reached express status. I don't know if I'll care. Because it is carrying none non-express. I guess we really should have like separate. For some of these things, I really should just build two lines. One freight, one express. And have them be specialized. I don't know. All right, we go. Oh, no, what? Not one more year. Because the last group of tasks was uh, 33. Buy the company. Reach 120 in the Virginia region. And what I'll be looking for is maybe starting to work on buying this guy's company now. Because then we can fix all this up. Railway Empire category viewers, 752. Quill viewers, 748. And growing, yeah. We get, we get most of the view. It makes I sense. I just had lunch with the mayor to discuss your series of breakdowns. I guess we're being freaking screwed again. Can we not? Like, I beefed up the money I'm spending on security over here. I don't know. Down. Why do we still have... Oh, I guess I can trash this. Reach maximum inventory. Need more place to dump lumber from Lee Stop, but oh well. 
Oh, that's a business I own. That's why I'm actually getting warning about it. Right. Well, let's add you a warehouse. And get you to let warehouse the oops, the lumber. Maybe the salt as well, because maybe some things will get delivered that way. What else we get? Oh, the yarn. I mean, we've got some direct routes set up for these things. I hate this UI. We'll get that to store up here. Maybe it'll get picked up. Multi-stop circular express route. That does sound really interesting. And then build one in the other direction. I'd often end up doing something similar to that in um, in Railroad Tycoons, since we do have a circular route set up now. Just a pure express, huh? New York, Albany, Syracuse. Well, there's, there's actually a few circular routes that could exist. Down to Pittsburgh. Stop in Philly. Then back to New York. I haven't unlocked any of the special stuff here. We'll just do a singular train. Ooh. Nice. And then... We'll have one that goes Boston. Portland. Skip banger, because it's sort of on a separate thing. But you can go to Quebec and then do a turnaround. Oh! You cannot... Why can you not? Because these are not one big... Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I can't gridiron over here. Thank you, Juna. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, hmm. I very appreciate that. Looking forward to some puts in about half an hour. Excellent. Very Canadian as we're looking to Canadian stuff. Yeah, we'd want the, I guess if we hadn't split the lines this early, we would have been able to set that up, but it might be awkward. It'd be nice if you could build like um, some sort of um, the, the turntable, the roundhouse thing as a station stop. Oh. Bonus for new industry. Oh, Quebec wants a new industry. Well, can we process corn into anything? Can we make miski out of corn? I don't think that's a thing. You're already processing the beef. You're getting grain here. You could set up a brewery, but we've got a good amount of breweries around here, don't we? Feels a bit redundant. Um, I could set up a lumber mill and ship it from Lee Stop, but that feels pretty miserable. Fruit and sugar for the distillery. And sugar. Hmm. Oh, there's dairy over here. Hold on. Let's do that. Yeah, dairy to the south. I hadn't spotted that. the bonus. Build. Oops. 
Classic misclick. Go, gridiron, direction. From here. There. Explicitly, this will be a freight. Yeah, we want to use a Derwent. Yeah, I hadn't realized I was actually setting up some, uh, using the incorrect train for some things, but... I'm thinking of buying this dairy. Root and dairy for an ice cream factory it should be a thing. I agree. Wanted this junk, but you. Well, it won't be junk for very long because we are definitely going to be unloading the dairy over here to Quebec City. I guess the question is, um, is there a demand for cheese? The answer appears to be no. You got to be pretty big. We'd have to ship it. We're looking to ship it all the way down here. I demand cheese curds. Yeah, man, for a poutine. Sad cheese noises. Let's face it. We both know nothing about trades, but I have people for that. That's a two trains. So it's a long track. We're going to want semi-regular deliveries. Cheese to Boston, although I'm in a warehouse for extra cheese. I know it says dairy product, but that's clearly cheese. Warehouse so that it can be passed on a little bit further. I don't have a warehouse in New York, which we're going to finally build. Well, that way, cheese can keep going down. That's going to be okay. Time to buy the guy's business. Super annoying. Okay. I, I kind of agree. Let's dump as much cash as we've got into buying some of these shares. Keep your hands off my company. And start working our way up here. The cheese must flow. Recently acquired. Waiting to be deployed. That's fine. Actually, I guess the first row. Well, I mean, there might still be some freight that it ships down, but it's not going to be delivering cheese the first time around, but that's okay. There you go. Train's coming back. Picking up some new milk. Excellent. Now, how much is this produces? 1.6 per week. Okay, so we could double the size of this dairy to consume all of the milk that's being produced. Although, do the people in this town drink milk at all? New good. Delivery, demand. Oh no, so it has its own demand. The people here also want to just drink the milk. Pink. I guess we can ship the extra milk too if we warehouse it. Oh, we don't have a... We could warehouse the milk and then ship it further. Let's check milk demand. No, no one else really cares about it. Boston would like it, so maybe we'll do the same thing. Build a warehouse. Warehouse. I don't think I have to warehouse the cheese. No, because it has, it has its own built-in sort of thing there. Um, dairy. You know what? We can do corn as well. Since we're getting deliveries of corn over there, and we can act as a as an in-betweeny. This building bothered me, so I had it redesigned a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're effing with me some more corn, milk. Okay. What's this new milk invention people speak of? Well, it's great. What you want to do? Is you want to suck on the bottom of a cow for business, they say. But I say good business destroys the competition. That's actually really annoying. No wagons can be loaded in Philly right now. Actually really sucks. Which one did we just complete? Ah, there you go. 75,000 citizen miss at Mid-Atlantic. Cool. Salt is being delivered to New York slowly.
bottom is in the underside, not the back. Um, I don't think having New York store salt would help us complete the quest. Because I don't know if that, that counts. Where we went to buy one, but worth buying? I liked it quite a bit. Train has a negative balance. Okay, well, and also train is not doing anything right now. You know what? New York does actually need more, uh, more shit going on here. Build some length of track. I wonder if there's like another way in the game to, uh, to do this, but. Place the gridiron so that all four of these can be used on that side at least. And then I won't be able to do the same thing here because of this hookup. But it should still help a little bit. I mean, I guess I can bulldoze this, pull this back, and add enough room for like a quad something or other, but. I'm just hoping if these tracks here can make use of some extra landing or sidings or platforms, that's the word I'm looking for, it'll still help. Because, yeah, there's a lot of bottlenecking going on here. Hmm. Or I could do is just make sure these two go into the top two. Maybe I'll just do that. Now, it's going to destroy the entire track, right? Uh, hold on. There was a way... You can also place demolition markers. Set demolition marker. There we go. There we go. Yeah. What are you cranky about? There you go. So now the connection from the north here will take the top two uh, platforms and the one from the south will take the bottom two. And over here, we've got a nice uh, full cross to hopefully just let New York handle more traffic at the same time. No one buys my stock with impunity. Remember that. Oh, he's going to cask him in me. Chain. Minus four million. Yeah, because we bought stock. Ooh, negative money. Oh, no. All right, maybe I should leave a little bit more sitting around here. Uh, increased quality saboteur. Where's my saboteur defense? Airline, dining car, ticket price increase, refrigerator for groceries, mail car. So these are things we'd want to manually add to things, but... I don't know how much of a change I'll make to existing lines. Gotta hire the Pinkertons, yeah. I hear someone's uh, leaking some magic cards early. We gotta send the Pinkertons after them. All right, yeah. Mo I mean, our money has been climbing. Like, the money is fine. We just, there was just a temporary maintenance thing in between of whatever. No milk. Yeah, we are, we are consistently pulling all the milk out of uh, Simon Ranch here. Yeah, let's go ahead and double that up. Did Albany shrink? No, the Albany's still pretty good. It's going up very quickly, actually. Stop. That's over here. That freight. So is it just that we don't have enough apples? Yeah. They're completing without freight just because there's just not enough... Um, none of produce being made, so... To me, that says we should resize this industry. 
We actually already brought up to level two. We'll bring it up to level three when we get some more things. Fridge, good idea. Frigate, better idea. Higher, better apple trees. I think it's quite expensive to go level three. It doubles it again. It's not doubling the initial. It's not going to triple. It's doubling a second time, so fairly pricey. Now that's what I call a real breakdown. Could you not? I usually like I like playing these games without competitors. Like I don't want to play sandbox. Negative balance. Yeah, because you keep you keep running with nothing in it. But that's clearly the way to do it. Was it seventy? It was seven hundred thousand and change. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you can set a minimum load. Maybe you can. Oh. We're going to need this covered cab. Enables travel in all weather conditions, helping to ensure important transport can be carried quickly. Increase the transport revenue for mailbags by 5%, just flat out without us doing. Well, maybe we have to. Maybe we do have to add it. I'm not sure. What's the cab? And anyway, we're going to go ahead and unlock that just because it leads us down the main the main track here. No pun intended. All right. You go to level three. Very profitable business. Hey, Everyone wants our apples. Subscriber. Uh, Ludlaw, thanks for the sub. Yeah, can we set a minimum load? Thing is, yeah, lots of like coal stop. Are, we're, we have three different things going on, which is part of it. Yeah, so uh, you can set the loading to manual, but I actually don't know. Like, once you do that, what do you do? I'm just, I'm not going to mess with it right now. You can specify minimum loads, okay. Probably with the manual. Okay, lots more apples being produced, which is good, because apparently we use them all up. Left. Oh, that's right! I forgot about that. The UI is weird, because you said it to me, because we've, we've run into this once before. We go here, we set it to manual, and then I'm like, what's the deal, yo? And then, right, it's over here you edit the station. You say, don't leave unless you got at least a couple wagonfuls. We want to do it with the others. But hopefully it's a moot point since this is being upgraded. Now this one here, I edit, so you're still on freight. Oh, I don't have to set it to manual. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Hang on a sec. You edit. Stay on freight. But same thing, a minimum of two. There you go. Now that's much better. Okay. Excellent. We might want to do another upgrade to this thing. Everyone loves our apples. But maybe there's a backlog that'll be fixing itself soon, so we'll see. You West stop. I guess we'll do the same thing. Just wait for some coal. I don't have a lot of cash on hand, annoyingly. I mean, I could quickly close this and take out a loan, but there's no way. I, I could have kept bidding enough. forever. I'll get the money back anyway. Oh shit, we jammed up. Oh, is it because there's a breakdown? Yeah, this train's broken down and holding everything else up. We need some siding so they can pass each other when that happens. Well, Portland doesn't have a maintenance depot, so let's do that first of all. Let's try and encourage more regular maintenance. I like them apples quite well, actually. Apple cider, apple pie, apple sauce, apple fritters, apple butter. Feels like we're in um, ooh, um, we're in a Forrest Gump right now, right, with the shrimp. New York City can support a new industry with a bonus for it. You could have it make its own cheese because it is getting um, milk delivery, dairy delivery, although not from us.
Furniture, well, furniture needs planks, I suspect, right? Which we are not produce. Ah, no, Albany does produce planks. Yeah, all right. Furniture. Cool. Oh, yeah. What does New York need locally? Actually, does it want furniture? Because that would... It does want furniture. That sounds great, then. So it should get planks from Albany. Right? Because we've got Lumber Hill... Lumber here. The tons of planks right now. I'm going to increase the demand for... I don't know if any of the industry uses salt. Planks from Albany gets turned into furniture, which a few of these places might need at this point, or want at this point. Gaming industry. I rem Now I want to play, um... Is it called Industry Tycoon? Hang on, I'm just tabbing up for a second. Industry Giant. Industry Giant, uh... Gaming pieces, like board game pieces, was one of the industries you could make. Probably in a freight train, Albany, New York. I might, you're right. We do have some routes. I guess I could check here. We could specialize some routes. What the? Why am I changing track? Why am I in change track direction mode? I've got no UI loaded here, buddy. Load, unload. There we go. I want to click on the track. Oof, that's not great. Do I not have it? Do I not have an Albany to New York route in general? Right, that's my one of my big express express routes, an espresso route. No, I don't. That's crazy sauce. Yeah, it happened once before too. Just remembered us being in a wrong mode. Okay, so let's set up a route. Let's set up two routes. Albany, New York as an express with the Firefly. Oops, that didn't get reset. No. That is a useful warning. Albany, New York, Firefly Express, Espresso, no warnings, good. And Albany, New York, Freight. Okay, if you set the type, so I, that must be what it was. I was leaving an automatic, so it was automatically selecting our newest mixed. If I set it to Express, it was choosing our newest express freight, newest freight. That's pretty decent. And yeah, a little bit of waiting here. So we got the extra tracks there. I suspect Albany could use an upgrade too, but uh, we could probably do it from this side. That's long enough. Yeah, hold on. Let's add more track. I wonder if there might be a slightly more convenient way to do this. There we go. We could even avoid this merge and have them come in here just to prevent a bottleneck there. Although it should be fine. The important thing is to use more of the platforms. I think that's going to be okay. We do actually have a triple track here. So three of these tracks in Albany's are being used on the other side. So, yeah, we're okay. That's still going to be helpful. Game needs some quality enough improvements. I like it more than RE1. Yeah, uh, and they have announced they've got an update roadmap. They've got three updates planned. Update one is just fix some bugs, some quality of life. Uh, update two, manual signaling. Update three, more quality of life, which is kind of good. Yeah, we might want a whole track. I mean, <sighs> barring a breakdown, we don't need more tracks between these two, but... Obviously, breakdowns do happen, so we might want to negative. Uh, this negative balance should start to fix itself here. Because this is the track, this is the, the route that was doing a lot of empty things. Now we've got lots of extra apples, so these should be fairly profitable. Warehouse and RU1 are cumbersome all over the freight works now. Yes, I think that is better. 
I think I didn't really like the warehouses at all. Because didn't you do like, weren't they, they weren't in cities, right? You like built a warehouse separately and sort of routed to those warehouse as an explicit stop. Something weird like that was really awkward. I'm gonna wait, I'll save up a little bit more to buy more stock, but yeah. Oh my God, we've heard that joke three times today already, I think. <laughs> uh, why did the Mexican train driver get away with stealing from the customers? According to judge, they couldn't catch him. He had a loco motive. Why do you stop here? There's space, uh, maybe not. Maybe waiting for that other one to clear the iron. Maybe only one can be inside this at a time. I guess that would make sense. No, no, don't worry, Vinicius. It actually made me laugh more. We, we also had it on Wednesday. <laughs> I guess there just aren't enough train jokes. Must be the problem. Just not enough train jokes out there. So it might have to complete a... a I think it has to complete the whole route to update its balance. So this might not change right now, even though, yeah, it just made 16 grand. This should be fairly profitable. So let's go back over for a sec and check our apple orchard. Okay, it's definitely not getting backed up with a million apples, but it's probably okay. Not enough train jokes. People have run out of steam. Hey, there we go. A lot of issues. What, what, what's the new thing that uh, people are complaining about how I'm pronouncing? What city? It's probably a city, I'm assuming. Uh, no, I don't know. Albany. It's wait, is Albany not pronounced Albany? That one's new to me because I know about Bangor, Bangor. Albany, Albany as opposed to Albany, but it's clearly, you know, Someone could write a song about this city. It's like, call me Albany. It's AL. Come on, get your shit together. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to tell me there's going to be some town over here that's clearly spelled Worcester that people pronounce Worcester. Crazy people. Albany. 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 I guess Albany is what I heard. Okay. I'm just going to say that's just an accent. Jeez, why am I getting buffed? Oh! Am I put in here? Where is about to arrive? Hey, hey! Excellent stuff. That's the one that's still going to be updated. I think it's going to be fine. I kind of am trying to... Okay, one more load of salt in New York. I'm wondering... That might advance us to the next era. Well, this might be... This might be the last step. I wonder if we'll still get a chance to do the optional ones after that. Because there's no way I have enough money to finish buying out this guy's business, though. You know what? I'll bid on that. Finish city names are easy to pronounce them as they're written. Reason I didn't bid. We don't even have access rights over here yet. That's okay. A shortcut for like buy as much as we can. Minus a little bit, I guess. I still can't fuse. Theoretically, I have a controlling interest now, I would have thought. That apparently, it's not the case. During the Constellation, we had a brewery co-op in Denmark called Albany. It's pronounced the way you say. It said Albany. Call me Albany. Oh, there's the door. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Did you see what happened there? Could you? And that can happen again. Could you stop doing again. some bullshit, buddy? I want you to start scamming me. All right, I'm gonna head upstairs. Enjoy. Ch
Chair stream. Yeah, we left on a fast forward. It's fine. Doesn't actually run that quick. And that I don't think is a is the game lag, and that's a design decision. I kind of wish there was a super fast forward. Maybe there's a mod. Okay, hold on. So this is just never loading. I'm sorry. So there, you're telling me there's just no demand for coal? Hang on, we gotta fix this. Well, Albany clearly want Albany clearly wants coal. It has a slight demand for it. But it has a wicked excess. Yeah, see, this still strikes me as quite weird. Why do cities not generally want coal for heating and whatnot at the time? So there's simply not enough consumption of coal going on in Albany. Are you not... Are you not getting clay? How can we tell... No, don't ah, don't change track direction. Why are we in that mode again? Son of a bitch. Yeah, maybe it's only picking up veg. And especially the fact that it's also doubling on New York. That might be the issue. Poutine. Hmm. I haven't had this in ages. Oh, Alt is a shortcut for training track. Maybe it's when I'm tabbing in and out. It gets stuck. Speaking of stuck, look at the cheese. Yeah, baby. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Hmm. All right. Ooh. Go. I made a little mess. There we are. All right. Sort it out. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I... I'm going to change this track. I still want one of these. I still want the veggies to be delivered to New York City. So I'm going to change this where I'm just going to remove the Albany stop completely first. So Robert Station to New York City. Just keep some keep it supplying some stuff. Freight, freight, confirm. Good. Now I'm going to make a second rail line this way now it's also going to be freight I could prioritize the clay what I kind of want it'd be nice if I could give it a balance I mean I suppose this might be a time to go manual So this would pick up There you go. Okay, I guess by default it matches both sides. There you go. Pick up at least like two veg two clay, 
like two of our wagons are reserved for badge, two of our wagons are reserved for clay, and then the other four are for whatevers. We don't want to pick up uh, freight in the opposite direction because there's nothing that Albany needs to send to Robert Station. There you go, and then pick up whatever. So it's still it's still really prioritizing vegetables, probably because in general there's been more demand for it, but that will ensure that some clay is being delivered here. The other thing I could have done is just left this on sort of the automatic freight mode and just maybe put in a couple. I didn't put in a minimum because I knew some would get brought. Although, I guess maybe we should always have a minimum because why not, right? <laughs> Conflicts to dig clay. Why isn't it pronounced like Albania? Right? because people pronounce things the way they do locally, and that's the way it goes. It's the re same reason why Kansas and Arkansas are pronounced differently. Which they actually, if I recall correctly, like there was like, Arkansas was a thing, and I think they actually like eventually passed legislation to standardize to Arkansas. But Arkansas was a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing. Like I say Quebec, you might say Quebec. And I'll hate you for it forever and ever and ever. The qua sound just drives me crazy. Because it's so deeply ingrained in my brain. Yeah, Kansas and our Kansas. They're Kansas and our Kansas. Of course, speaking, we spoke about City Skylines earlier. Every time I go and I build a K, there's always some people who are like, I'm sorry, what? Like, yeah, K, you know, the, the thing on uh, along the water, you know? Q-U-A-I. You mean a key? A what? At least we can all agree that the people who see Quay are just like, they have to be banned from the world. <laughs> yes, no discussion. Well, exactly, yeah. Buy more stock. Yeah, probably. Although we still don't have enough to buy them out. Although... If they're, see, if their business was growing, we would want to continuously build their, buy their stock as quickly as possible because their value was going up. But I don't think their value has really been changing. Actually, it's dropped. So I suppose this is a great time to buy some more. Let's buy the dip. I like French onion dip. We expand south. If we can keep Philadelphia in our rail network, that would be a great opportunity for us. <laughs> I see you weren't intimidated by that libertine. That is good, because I've invested sizable sums in this venture, and failure would ruin me. We are so close, I can literally taste it. Our mm, network delicious. just needs another little expansion. Being the mayor of Albany doesn't have to... He says Albany! ...follow my career. How does... Vindication! ...sound to you? Even if things are going very well right now, we must not rest. <laughs> Well, <laughs> south, <laughs> some business partners <laughs> just an accent thing from now on you can borrow money directly it's a bug in the game really marvelous you are unstoppable i can't tell you how happy i am i just had lunch with the mayor to discuss your series of breakdowns time to report that book <laughs> Okay, so the optional tasks have remained. We did get new, like, primary tasks, although two of them were fulfilled already. Provide eight city train connections with express status, done. Have a balance of 300,000 per week, done. Transport 60 passengers without changing trains from Washington, D.C. to Buffalo. D.C. Well, we might wait then until well, although, maybe we'll just buy it. Let's see. Well, okay. How far are we from finishing this? I'm getting there. We're very close. 5% more. <laughs> Award worthy. Secure supply guaranteed. Rarely a city so, so well served as Albany has been. Albany? In the recent months. 
I mean... <laughs> there's gonna be such a small group of people who care about it, too. Because we have so many different accents and everything in chat. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. I was trying to think I need to watch the stream from the beginning and get more of the inside jokes. Yeah, you gotta go back to like the very first video on the channel. There's actually so we have a we have a subreddit. Not very active. Um, which is crazy considering how much time I spend on, on Reddit. You almost think it would be like the primary chat thing. Um but a little while ago, maybe a month, month or so ago at this point, I'm not sure, uh, someone came in and said they're relatively new to the channel. Like, what what are the in-jokes? And that actually turned into a really interesting thread with people bringing up, like, all kinds of references and things that happen and get made. Obviously, the uh, the Brussels thing came up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bum-bum. Ad adhesive is another uh, pronunciation-based sort of inside thing from a Fallout 4, uh, Fallout 4 tutorial video I did. Where, because I say adhesive, and there is an H in there, but it's not very pronounced and it wasn't really being picked up. Um, you know, especially when I'm talking quick, you need some adhesive, you need this, you need that. And people are like, there's an H in it, so now I say adhesive, just to make sure that people know. And then, uh, granary is another one because people are sure I'm wrong when I say granary. It's granary. Oh, it's grain. I'm like, no, it's granary. Now own 100% of Flamingo Rail Inc. stock, and you will automatically receive all surplus from the company from now on. You've also been granted zero worth of stock and cash. Oh, company is now no longer expanding, participating in auctions. Our existing train lines, stations, and businesses will continue to be optimized. Alternatively, you can dissolve the company at any time through a merger. Bravo! Oh, you sure showed him. People won't be entrusting their company to this scoundrel anytime soon. All right, so the other tracks do still exist separately from my own, but there you go, that's done. What we will do is we'll do the merger, which is probably lead. Keep everything. Well, this would blow up all the tracks. Um, when the tracks exist, are they the best? Maybe I should just blow them all up. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna liquidate the engines. I think we're gonna keep the track, but we'll get rid of the engines. A lot of people want a lot of everything blown up. We do get the refund, I suppose, right? That's the thing. Liquidated with revenue. Yeah, alright. Then we'll just reset it. Boston and Albany Railroad swallows competitors. Investors generously compensated. All right, we have tons of cash. Let's go build a train station in Washington, D.C. Woo! I am going to want to quad this up. No tunnel, nice and straight, max speed, looking good. Boom. We got the money right now, so... Oh, really? But why?
now. What direction should these tracks have? Should the two right ones be heading the same direction? Or should they alternate? I'm thinking I'm going to alternate. Yeah, and that's what people are saying. Because it's going to make it easier for us to do these merges. Like this going forward. be an express? I don't know if it needs a freight as much. I'm sure it will. Oh yeah, it's maintenance depot too. Yep. Done. All right. Now we need. What do we need? Washington to Buffalo. What I'm thinking. What's with the exclamation mark? I mean, I can see it's speed limited. Oh, short track, slow down. Problems when building parallel tracks as well. All right, well then, well, it's okay. We'll just make it longer. I have to get rid of the speed limit, but you know what? 69 is pretty nice. Washington, Buffalo, uh, Firefly. I think we'll do two trains because I think it's 60 loads of passengers. Yeah. Oh, it'd be nice maybe to have this grow. Clearing near Ottawa. Yeah, sure. And no competition. I mean, I guess things were already sort of kind of being delivered, but... A bit of a time limit, or speed limit, but that's okay. Might as well. <clears throat> Won't break down. All right. 120,000 citizens in the Virginia region. Big Lick, Charlottesville, Norfolk. And then three big cities. Um, oh, and I guess we don't need to buy the uh, access rights anymore. So these three cities... Must connect the train station Charlotte Village to a rail network, construct another train station in a city. Really? Oh, because, okay, so you can definitely plop down more than one train station in a go. We've done it before. 
but the others were little rural ones, which I guess is the difference. But you're limited to just one incomplete city at a time. Just hook up the expresses for now. I think the stuff about changing trains means you can do Washington, Pittsburgh, Buffalo's line. Oh, right. But the express, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, the express, the direct express will also work, but yeah, as long as it's a continuous line, you're probably right that it's fine and happy with it. Because it did say something. Well, talk about without changing trains and shorter alternates. I mean, this is an overkill, but now we got the money. And we want this region to grow quickly, so we might overload it with more trains. Oh, yeah. Maintenance. Get one here. And if I don't have one in DC, I'm gonna want one there as well. Okay, I do have one in DC, which is good. Okay. I'm just gonna do a pair here. Say the parallel line snapping is really a lot of the rail building in this game is actually quite a lot nicer than what you end up doing in a lot of other games. I have to give them some kudos there. A long route, let's put a couple of supply stations down. Austin Albany Railroad cannot be stopped. 14,000 kilometers. <laughs> Did I put a supply tower in this route? I see people talking about supply towers. Yeah, I don't think there is one on this route, is there? Good catch. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Okay, we also need these cities to grow. Seven stations. Sugar and cattle. Um, the cattle will be produced or uh, processed here, so I guess I don't have to stockpile that. <clears throat> Although it could go and land here and then further go to Norfolk, but we'll just let it process in Charlottesville. That's going to be fine. Right, we own this. Nothing to do with it right now, but that's okay. We'll just get it hooked up to the network. Right, I 
I hit those max numbers. Hell, warehouse just thought it was just a barn. I guess that's true. There's n I don't perform any actions at the station of Parker's Rest. Is it because there's no demand for yarn? I'm thinking there's something else. Big Lickling's yarn. That's true. I guess rather than warehousing it, I can just have it because it can do the turnaround here. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that then. You can turn around in Charlottesville. Or we could trim it. We could cut this corner. Maybe I'll go ahead and get that going, because we might want it for some options here. We'll have it connect at the far side. send it to Washington, D.C. as well. Maybe we'll be able to set up a second train. Let's make sure these things don't run empty. All right, and then we're gonna have to move the cloth out of it, but it may, might make it separate chains. Okay, minimum of two. And a separate line. Parker's Rest to Washington, D.C. Freight. Parker's Rest, minimum of two go. We own this as well, so we can embiggen it. Another yarn source right aside. Yeah, but we own this one. So we may as well just feed it out of here. That's going to be okay. And then the cloth itself. Both these guys do have demand for it. So we might, we could even build, you know what, I will build by the uh, weaving mill here. Just so that way we'll have the option of upgrading it. We'll just make this a generic freight. But have two trains that run along here. And interconnect these. All right. <clears throat> you know, I could probably save money on my security staff now. Because we're not being actively beat up by a competitor. Yeah, passenger job is finishing. Big in some cities and big in this area generally. New York is shrinking! Should really be aiming to make it bigger. You want sugar and more vegetables and booze and cheese. Mason Rest has sugar. You have tons of sugar that's not going anywhere. There you go. Mason's Rest of Boston will now help bring sugar that way. Unless it's just being overloaded. Clearly a freight line. See this is yeah I'm wondering about adding some trains but I'm wondering about
I guess run to parallel here. What do you mean? Now you're fine. Not necessarily the most brilliant, but I'm just trying to avoid too much traffic, even if it's not the fastest track. Oh, wait, no. Your progress is great. Some of this now is fine. It's really paying off that I invested some money in a couple of speculative land deals near your rail lines. They have multiplied in value by now. I personally never doubted the success of the steam locomotive. However, you know, I don't care about the tunnel. Accomplished here is something else entirely. Our work here has been a technological revolution, and we are both facing a golden future. Oh! The railroad business had exploded. Brilliant pioneers and their courageous investors had proven Ooh. that steam-powered rail transportation could more than compete with the expensive alternative of artificial... Yes, we didn't get to do the um, optional ones. The success convinced initial... Man, I kind of just want to play more of this. Maybe we could do a little more. Up like mushrooms. Soon, small separate routes were getting in each other's way, and the hoped-for profits were declining. Critical voices were raised. How could the railroad business continue to grow if it was choking on its own complexity? Decide to keep playing. I don't know if we get more points. Ah, well, we reached the maximum score anyway. Go next chapter, but... Well, actually, the so next chapter... England and Wales. Ah, oh, that's tempting. But yeah, we get these scenarios here. Great Lakes. This is already... This is Sudbury's on it! Starting year 1900, so there'd be different tech and everything. This is England and Scotland. Oh, I'm doing the wrong, uh, wrong filtery thing. Yeah, England and Scotland, Ireland, France, well, and Southern England too, which is interesting. I wonder, I mean, you're not gonna bridge across there. I wonder if there's a ferry crossing built in. Alpine, German Confederation, Western Europe, Scandinavia. And if you play in sandbox mode, you have lots of options. Like, we can do the whole map, but I don't think there's an option to play sandbox mode with economy turned on. It's just infinite cash. I think we were the engineer. Or no, no, we were the professor. We were the professor. Do Scandinavia can pronounce all towns wrong? Upgrades are cheaper, buildings are cheaper, personnel costs more. No, we'll go the engineer. Guys, I don't know how to spell my name anymore. <laughs> Did I spell eight? Nothing, nothing looks right. That's 18. That is 18. But there's, um, there's that thing where, like, the war, it just doesn't look correct. Rolling Thunder's a good name. Roll.
There's still a typo? A... So wait, hold on. When I typed it in Google... I typed it right. <laughs> but there's a typo. I just couldn't see it. No, this looks wrong. Hold on. Did I incorrectly... I'm doubting everything in my existence. My brain has just gone, what? Eight. Why does this look wrong? E I G H T E E N. It's, I know there's um, verbally there's syntactic sati satiation, where something you repeat it often enough, you repeat a word over and over, and it stops being a word. Oh, oh now it looks right. My brain reset itself. That's fucked up, man. I don't know what it what it call what it calls it when you write down a word and you're like. It doesn't look right. There's, uh, there must be a word for it, but hmm, I feel like the whole world around. Yeah. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Called getting older, maybe. All right, let's go. Um, so it's not adjustable, which is fine. I just want to have a look around. Oh, dyslexia. I mean, perhaps. Ah, good to have you here. As you could see in my message, I've had a promising business idea recently. So far, the Great Lakes region has not been developed with railroads, and it's just waiting to be conquered by us. In this matter, we work with our own capital. In return, the state has promised us all the necessary land rights. I chose the city of Grand Rapids as our company headquarters. It has a great central position, but it's also quite remote. You should spread out as quickly as possible oh, to convince right, the citizens of the advantages of having their own railroad network. All right, people, pronounce this name correctly. Pronounce the city you name correctly. That is clearly the Sioux. Sioux St. Marie. Why? Why Sioux? When it's clearly spelled salt? <laughs> Challenge makes Sudbury largest population. Yeah, it's not even a city properly. Although it is the right amount, right time that it's like start to settle. In fact, by this point, it would be, a, it's a little something something. Barely, but it is a little something something at this time. Salt is bad for you. And yeah, in Toronto, that's Toronto. Greg St. Marie. No, it's Buffy St. Marie. Let's build your first day. Oh, so we have to build it in the starting city. And are there free, are there options for more free form scenarios? Or the sandbox mode, but with an economy. Were we just missing a setting? Because that's what I would like. I kind of just want to load up Robert Tycoon 3 and compare. Probably build it so that we can go through the city here. It's clearly the same engine, I think, as Railroad uh, Empire 1. Yeah. Detroit didn't make the cut. Milwaukee. We've got Toledo over here. The Spanish city of Toledo, obviously. Chicago. Duluth. Other London. How can it be the same engine you haven't set any trains out yet? Ooh. Wisconsin has way fewer dairy farms. There, hold on, there's a custom game mode? All right, let's take another look here. Oh, yeah, there is custom. Thank you. There we go. I don't know why I kept missing it. Well, I know why, because I'm I'm me. Whole map of Europe. Hang on, is there air? No, damn it. I guess Glasgow is probably the closest. Can I click on the map? Ah, I can click on the map. Oh, that's huge. 
Okay, we're under these settings over here, right? Year, whole map. Oh, there we go. Competitors. Zero competitors. Now, I mean, it's fine. In fact, on a map this big, we might want many competitors and then just buy them out. Ah, oh, they'll re build shitty things, right? Unlimited refunds, sure. Pronounce Oirup. <laughs> yeah, we'll get rid of the voiceovers of them like commenting on what, what the hell we're doing. Welcome and good luck with your new business. No competitors and a huge map, so you can really let Textual. Loose. However, you'll have to pay attention to your to-do list if you want to score high. Nice. I wonder, this, I wonder if this is the full task list or if it still cycles forward, because this is only 20 years worth. Any friendly competitors like Anno? Mm hmm. All right. Glass cow. You're right. Glass cow. They should we should keep <laughs> glass and Edinburgh. The yeah, air would be here, right? That's the Isle of Aaron over here. Or am I getting? I think. Is it, is it down here and Aaron's not on the map? Whatever that is. Someone will know. Love that has Madison. Wait, this this map also has a Madison. right the first time. Okay, good. I kind of wish I could zoom out more, but... <laughs> I wonder if you are meant to, like, bridge across. Next to one of your track. On to or next to? Can you not build disconnected tracks? It may not have been an option in this game. Surprising level out here. Oh, it doesn't want a tunnel. Just gonna click the midpoint and bring that up a notch. There we go. Yeah, not actually level. Which makes sense. Uh, might be able to avoid a little grade. Yeah, just a little bit. Doing that. Takes a little longer. I don't know if it's better or not. And this one will want to... Wait, did I... Oh, I didn't actually hit... Build. Yeah, we'll keep in mind that we're probably going to want to quad up some of this later on. Certain city planner says respect the topography. How much does grade change speed time? I don't know. I think it's based on the tractive power of the locomotive. Uh, right over here. Um, I don't know how it works mechanically in the game, but I think this affects its ability to handle grade. It's cool planning the HS2 line. See if you can do it cheaper and quicker in real life. Oh, you're right. It would be left-hand drive as well for the trains, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to get myself a kerfuffle if I do that. And, you know, once we uh, cross over here, I, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to, my poor brain is going to do better if I just stick the right hand drive throughout. No, <laughs> in England, then go the other side around, left side, remember? Oh, boy. Hey, Traconium, thanks for the bits. It's going to upset people, isn't it? All right. Oh, boy. I'm going to mess it up at some point, and we're going to have a, an absolute rail disaster. So let's make two separate lines. We'll have an express to start off with. Well, so I mean, the trains are just going to be the trains, but 
we'll do that and then we'll figure out the we'll, we'll be a little bit more intentional i think with the freight as opposed to just doing it generically Edinburgh makes beer glasgow makes meat which the other cities will both want so you know what i will go ahead and get a freight as well the two trains with split responsibility between these two over here <clears throat> left hand in sweden but only for the trains Wait, is all Europe left hand trains? Even the mainland? Does combining beer and meat produce methane? Oh. Scots produce beer, consume beer and meat? What? I know, it's shocking. All right, so we're gonna want this connected up. Um, You know, the backside of Glasgow is unlikely to have that same amount of traffic. So I think that's how I'm gonna just route this. So we're going to do this a little bit more because I'm still into the rail, but I do want to put in maybe the last hour of the stream is going to be to look at the uh, I always forget the name of the game. I don't know why it doesn't stick in my head. It's a little bit long. The uh, every day we fight. Tactical game. Do that for the last hour. We'll train for a little bit longer. Um, I mean, we're clearly going to have to go around here. Mm, I kind of want to give us more space. I'm gonna do that. I haven't put that on supply towers or anything yet. Have maintenance in Glasgow. All right. In the Netherlands, the trains are on the right and correct side, says Ryan Pendragon. Oh boy. That's my favorite thing lack of standardization. All right, got a bonus there. Probably milk is going to be generally desirable. We get connection bonuses for Aberdeen and Fort Williams. I'm, we've been to both these places, Sencha. I don't think we did. I think we did Fort William when we did a road trip. That's near where uh, where the Harry Potter train goes, right? Somewhere out a little west of that. Have we, have we been to Aberdeen? I'm not sure. 18 full steam ahead. Gonna be crap to build up here because of the landscape. Spoiler alert, a lot of hill. Oh wow, that's actually surprisingly generously flat in between here. I don't know. Maybe maybe that is a topography. It's actually remarkably manageable. music here so we're not getting the sort of country bluesy stuff we're getting classical music because oops because we're in Europe and people are just smarter that way uh remove track oh i think i have to reset the whole track now All right. I think Scottish Blues is probably something quite different. Ah, direction feels wrong. Supplied to pot. Now we're going to keep tracking through here. That is lumpy and bumpy. I 
we are gonna need some bridging here. Not too expensive. Yeah, the downhill is inevitable. There's not any way around that, really. Turns out that's just the way the train goes. that we're gonna set up an express from Fort William and bruh and bruh gotta be cool that way um I wonder if anyone wants sugar yet oh yeah everyone kind of wants some sugar and everything's gonna want grain Maybe I do the thing where we, Douglas, and uh, back to Douglas, order Fort William as a freight. And maybe have two trains. Although if they're both waiting here, they'll block things, which will be annoying. I'm going to do it, though. They'll generally be on the move. Good question. Any tech worth that? So, I mean, to continue down the main line, which I'm into, we need 300. I could go get seat upholstery, uh, increase the number of passengers, 5%. It's actually nice. Increase ticket price for passengers, 5%. You know what? Let's do it. They need sugar for their tea, obviously. That makes sense. Now, none of that is going to get to Glasgow unless we do a warehouse here, which we might do. Although I was thinking of connecting Aberdeen first. Train whistles make people want to pay more. I mean, the train whistle sounds great. Aberdeen's got the bonus and everything. Yeah. Hmm. So down along the coast. Uh, what side is this one? Near side. Right before. It, oops. That's incorrect. Um. Remove. Oh, there we go. Okay, continue planning and do this. And then another. Here. Over here. We got a little bridge work. Mostly just very downhill the whole way. I mean, yeah. It's just... Uh, wait, hold on. I did put pins. Maybe I could, uh... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I could have done something else. But Put a supply tape more up here, because they'll get this one. We will do the three-way junction, but... Uh, no, that was... Oh, that's going to mess me up, remembering this. An express. Oh, right. Hold on. 18 expands network. Woohoo! We need one of those. Need Edinburgh Express. Go. Very downhill one way, very uphill the other. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, inevitable from here to here, there's a height to. Um, hold on. Well, no, because it's level over here, clearly. I don't know. It, oh, it's all bad. 
Oh, that's the automatic road that made some very silly things. Checked off. What is it? Provide three cities with express status. Nice. Now. And we can just drive through here without connection. I mean, that would be a way of doing it. That's not going to work on the curve. Yeah. Um. I guess we just... Maybe do one of these. You know, if I want to get the grain out of Douglas, stop. In any kind of direct way up to Aberdeen, but that sounds like a problem for future Quill. But it means we can get the Aberdeen to Fort William Express, which in reality doesn't sound like a probably very busy line. But we're going to do it anyway. Do, 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 do. Putting a warehouse in Douglas Stop create a hub for all four cities to draw from. Oh, that's true. Well, not anymore. Well, maybe I could actually connect it from this side. Actually, yeah. From here. I mean, it's a sharp corner. Sure. But that would work. And you're right, a big warehouse here as a as a logistics stop, pretty handy. High speed sharp corner. Well, it's a low speed corner, actually. They're going to have to slow down to do this corner, which sucks, but it's going to be okay. Um, I'm going to put another supply tower here. But I am thinking maybe we would have wanted more uh, more lines. But I would have to leave so much more room to be able to do a four, four platform. It would be nice. Is there a convenient way to activate these platforms? Actually, here there's enough we could now set up for four. Yeah, and you're the good point. Buying these businesses, especially right now, because there's no um, there's no auction. The sugar's not as much demand, although it'd probably be cheap. Because we could have bought them earlier and saved a little bit of money. Yeah, screw it. Let's go and set the setup. Cotton's needed by Fort William. They supplied up north. Could open up freight between your four cities. Oh, the uh, the wool? Oh, you're right. And then we could have cloth, the cloth going from Fort William to the other cities. Yeah. Kind of get sugar to supply the Brits in their tea. Small breakdown. Oh, we need might need a few more maintenance spots. Let me go ahead and do this. Because why not? So again, we want to leave room to quad line Glasgow to Edinburgh. Maybe I'll actually set some of that up now.
Time to break out the Scottish accent. Oh boy. That's going to be a good time that won't be painful to anyone. Train track from here, connecting to there. And just changing. Let me take this tunnel here. Ooh, hold on. Point? Oh no, it's there. Hmm. Cut further east, but that's adding quite a lot of length. There's still, a, there's still this ridge here, although maybe it's worth tunneling this one. I mean, yeah, we could go down the coast and then cut into Carlisle, but that, that makes it much longer. This isn't bad. We got max speed for corners everywhere. 1%, 1%, 2% grade, and a little tiny tunnel. And the north and eastern, yeah, you mean Edinburgh. Okay, well, let's compare. We can, we've got the track planner tool. Let's put it to good use. So from here, we'd be looking to connect there. So this route is more expensive, but would be faster. It's shorter and really good on the grade. I mean, we could eliminate a little bit more of the tunnel. Like I could do some things to minimize the tunnel a little bit. I mean, we could consider seeing if we could get rid of it completely, right? And all of a sudden the route gets very cheap. Maybe this. And route, you're right. Good point. Uh, Brother Beard says uh, this would give you a pretty short shot to pick up these extra resources. Small tunnel up north. Oh, there is two. I think this is fine. Yeah, I like this. Build this one. Love that one. Step closer to our goal.
direction. The tracks go the wrong way. Get an express first. And then we'll get a freight as well. All right. We have enough to unlock something, but we can't actually reach anything. Uh, collect Fort William Carlisle. Okay. What's the thing we've got to do, like, first? Corn. Oh, we got two years for it, though. Just east of Edinburgh, where the land sticks out roughly where I live. The are powerful city, it's really. So, this part? Or this part? East would be over here, so. Maybe you mean this part. Oh, actually, this would be ideal. We get a connection bonus, and Carlisle does want it. Um, I don't have mu enough money to buy the industry right now, which is annoying. Although we will get a bonus for it. Here. Hey, you know what? I think we're going to come in the other way, actually. This slope is rough. I know there's going to be a corner over there, but... Just trying to like follow the topographical lines here. Eh. Fine, it's carrying yarn. Oh, I guess I should maybe let the game run so we have some money. Have another bite, Putin. Mm. That is good. Great dark gravy here. Very good. Another step closer to our goal. What did we do? Deploy four express trains at the same time. Woohoo! We need a supply place in Carlisle as well. Carlissel. Carlissel. Sorry, I forgot. I'm supposed to pronounce everything incorrectly here. Carlissel. Carl is Lee. Carl lies. Carl lies. Well, not quite Carl lies. Putin is a little cold. It's it's fine. But yeah, I'll give it a heat. Best way to reheat Putin, which is not the ideal way to beat it, but you ma you get your oven max temp it can reach and throw it in there. And it ends up being different, but good. Because you get sort of a browning effect on the cheese. But it's it's still pretty tasty. All right, so there we go. Connection bonus, groovy. Nothing to do with our money right now. Edinburgh is growing. And yeah, let's get 
let's get the corn. Because I think all cities have a demand for corn. Or at least they do pretty quickly. What about milk? Does that happen pretty quickly as well? No. So there's no demand for milk yet. But the corn is definitely a go. Oh, right. In Carlisle, I want to make sure we had a maintenance depot. So I think what we might do is deliver the corn to Carlisle and put a corn warehouse there. Or Edinburgh and then do that. Maybe I'll prioritize Edinburgh right now. It's a nice central location. I mean, there's a reason that... Well, Edinburgh's not the biggest city in Scotland. Glasgow's the most populous, I think. But Edinburgh's the capital. And it's pretty big. Just music, man. That's fine. Yeah, where's our bagpipe music? It's got like too much of a like music across all of Europe soundtrack as opposed to Scotland. Should put in a special request. From that be Meacham? Could be Meckham, but probably Meacham. I'm not being sarcastic here. Um, the problem is it depends on where you're from and how you like parse some of those kind of letter combos by default. Meacham. Yeah, I think that Meacham would be more British than Meckham. supply tower there. That's probably fine. Don't think anything needs salt yet. Demand for salt. Just say that's called it's part of England. Oh my god. The salt would definitely flow. So connecting Carlisle to York sort of logically makes some sense. The problem is it doesn't topographically make much sense. Although I suppose we can curl out of here. But I think first thing we do is extend the route from Edinburgh down to York, connect those two, and then maybe make a Y junction here. Well, a different kind of triple junction, triangle. More British. There's wooden of very north. Oh yeah, we could connect that to Thurso here. That's a heck of a road, but we could consider it. Yeah, not much lumber available here. Oh, there's a little bit of Liverpool. So, I mean, York, Manchester, Liverpool, Hollyhead, that would be a pretty easy connection to consider. And then we can, Birmingham here, we could do a sort of a little Y junction in the middle of, I mean, same thing the roads are basically doing here, right? East Coast Main Line is a thing. Yeah, so just, just going down the right-hand side over here. Oh, hang on. We have enough tech to get Iron Fire Tubes. Decrease the price of new locomotives by 5%. Not a huge discount, but it is required for us to continue to expand down the tech tree. So we'll go to work on that. You get a train to Sky, the Isle of Sky, yeah. Okay, relatively level here. So if we do this, continuing tracks to the south, because I thought this might have been a hilltop. I'm like, I don't remember there being much, but I mean, I guess there is some elevation here, but no. After we're out of the Scottish lands, things are going to be getting just generally a lot easier for us. All right, so my plan is to connect something like this. But obviously, we're going to do a little bit of a micro. And I think the placeholder there. right down the eastern side. I mean, maybe. Oh, 
going to be a pretty busy route. It might be worth investing in a little tunnelage. At least that much. Still 1% grade. I'm not sure I can wiggle around the topographical lines in a way that might otherwise avoid it. Avoid it. A little tunnel here. Which I think, actually, if I just pull this this way. Skirt around there. Minus 1%, 1%. That's, that's a pretty manageable grade, I would say. Like a C plus. Manageable. I wonder if I should take out a loan. Rail line from Edinburgh to York runs down the coastline. The problem is this coastline here is still pretty, pretty chunky. I think it would still be kind of tricksy. I think I'm okay going through here. Be a great tourist line later. Oh yeah, like uh, very scenic along the coast. Uh, that that is true. A little bit of debt, it's fine. Super storm of debt. All right. That is a long road. I'll we'll have to build a maintenance station in New York. Edinburgh to York. Express. We're definitely going to put two trains on there. I don't know if there's any freight demand yet. They both all they both currently just produce beer. And there's no warehouses. Build a bridge to Norway? Okay, we'll see what we can do. Now that's actually not a lot being carried down to York. Maybe these cities still need to grow. Maybe I didn't need to right away, but oh well. I only wonder if there's Airways Empire game for Quill Show how not to ground customers. Okay, so there is a game that I was thinking about playing right after the last terrible trip called Air. Well, I mean, there's Airline Tycoon, Airport Simulator. There's Airline Manager 4, um, which is what I was considering maybe playing. Just waiting for the channel. Ooh. Deployed, yeah. The other half of the thing. Do, 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 do. Ocean Line Tycoon game. Could be playing uh, Borrow Trauma if we want to be thematic here for the news lately. I got to make sure I'm trying to like retain all the facts from the, the submarine thing, the Titanic stuff, because I know that's going to come up on the big fat quiz of the year at the end of the year. It's going to come up and it's like, okay, so it was called the Titan. The company is called Ocean Gate. I don't know the names of any people, but I don't expect that that'll be a thing they, they put on there. But I know it's going to be on the big fat quiz of the year. Airport CEO. Submarine is outdated news. I know, I know the news today is Russia, but it's like, it's, that's still a little too real right now. As I'm like, as soon as the stream ends, you know, hey, fast, thanks for the resub. And I just tell my little, my little dude again. I was like, oh, it's so cute. I forgot I, I put it in. As soon as I end the stream, I'll be checking that news and probably just like living it for a while. Um, I don't even know what this warehouse tech gives me, but I'm going to want it. Oh, I guess I guess we didn't have the ability to build warehouses at all yet. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, warehouses weren't even an option yet because we didn't have the tech. Right over here. Okay. So yeah, taking out more loans because, you know, sure. And in theory, we're embiggening ourselves more than the loans are hurting us, but we'll see. So, if we wanted Aberdeen to Corn, wood, yeah, oh, the wood's so far away. God, that would be a brutal track. I 
don't think there was a demand for milk yet. We, we looked earlier, but things have grown a little. It's possible. No, Edinburgh still doesn't have a demand there. Time for Corn Warehouse and, and Edinburgh, maybe. We'll have to uh, then set up the um, the freight. But actually, yeah, I think we do. So right now, the warehouse, I think, is just for corn. Uh, well, maybe sugar, actually, from Douglas. So that way it can, we can set up a freight to York. Theoretically, we've got deliveries from Douglas Stop to Edinburgh, um, which could start storing up sugar for York if we get a freight line connected. And actually, we should maybe do a freight line just for the corn from Meekum. Meacham. Although I can do... I, you know what? I think it probably makes sense. Yeah, I gotta loop around the business here, but... Yeah, slow corner is not a big problem. We, I mean, we don't even have trains that can go that fast right now. I'm hoping through trains keep using this route instead of that one. I don't know how they consider the priorities and stuff for that. Oh, you can set waypoints. That's right! I remember that in the tutorial. You're gonna deliver corn to York without having to deliver it to Edinburgh first. And what I'm wondering about is if we just do a Edinburgh, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Fort Williams, Edinburgh, Aberdeen, sort of freight distribution thing. Edinburgh. Oh, it's weird double space. Logistics. So yeah, I think it's a little longer and it has a sharp turn, so I think it won't be evaluated anyway, but we can double check when we set up lines. Clearly, this line here is still going that way, which is good. Right. Oh, good point. Hold on. You're right. Douglas has a warehouse, doesn't it? No, not yet. Well, we could build a, Doug a warehouse in Douglas because it already has the freight trains that go as it goes everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, that might be a better thing. I mean, we could still have the warehouse here for the corn in the first place. But then this, like, catch-all logistics route could be canceled. Or we might keep it anyway. But just still build the warehouse there. Just add corn to it. This is actually quite convenient. Um, meat, beer, cloth. Meat beer cloth sounds like hell of an evening. <laughs> uh, had I added the maintenance depot in York? Because I had wanted to do that. No. Okay. It's growing, which is great. And yeah, obvious expansion over there. We do have a, a little bit of debt, although I don't think we want to explicitly pay it back. We want to keep growing. 
if we end up with a bunch of money in our bank account at the when it's due it'll get paid automatically otherwise it gets renewed and yeah overall i think we're better off not repaying it if we can avoid it and just using the money to continue to grow because we should be we should be growing pretty quickly what are the other building options oh where we have our little stops yeah so right now well here we can build a dispatch hall shortens the wait time for trains by 20 percent, which might be worthwhile at douglas station and a restaurant here passengers who start or transfer which currently we don't have they can't transfer here because we don't have hotel yet tech but we might we could set that up in Edinburgh. opening of the l m railway liverpool and manchester builds up steam wait I mean, it's patently not. We said zero competitors. Would that have been historically when it built? When it set itself up? Or maybe it was scheduled to spawn and it was like, oh, hold on, hold on, we can't. Restaurant sucks, gives no money at all. I mean, I hadn't built any in the other games. I was more interested in just expanding the routes rather than make any one thing like extra profitable, which might be a mistake. Some of those are probably good and some of them may be less so. But for now, just general expansion seemed to have been the way to go. We haven't even gone one year. You're right. Establish a connection from Waterford to Cork that's shorter than 136 kilometers. Uh, hold on. That's Ireland, right? Is it because it's... You might be inclined to, like, take some really circuitous route? Hmm. Yeah, just nine months. We've done a lot in nine months. What we are going to do here, I think, is we are going to stop the railroad for now um we go a little bit longer, a little bit longer. then we're gonna switch to to the uh, the other game in a minute here because i definitely want to look at it yeah no no says the chat i know oh, god the railroad game why are railroad games so much fun i think it's because it really does that oh just one more thing like i've built a thing now i want to just build one more thing then one more thing hey guys with tiger thanks Skinner box exactly? I don't know what the right term is. Yeah, there's always more to do. Will, pay attention, there's a new subscriber. Um, would you be surprised if York ends up being quad tracked for the through traffic? Okay, although, suppose we could do the corner and then this will be a straight line, which means we'll be able to do the, um, the grid iron somewhere over here later. Manchester, I expect we could see some expansions. Ooh. We stream the whole campaign. Well, we're actually not even doing the campaign right now. We're doing the custom map with the whole of Europe. Although part of me is like, maybe, maybe we could, because what I like about the campaign is they are goal oriented. I'd want to play on some of these others. Straight shot's pretty good. Oh, this is fine. 2%. Okay. And it's still just 2% the whole way, but we're making sure there's a nice wide corner here. I don't know. It's still wide corner. 2% Mac. Yeah, this is fine. It's one more turn to destroy everybody to gain sleep. Yeah, it's got that kind of aspect to it. Run there, going there. And that might get redrawn later, but for now, that's fine. Build the parallel track. Supply tower in the middle. Build these the wrong way around. And yeah, I think a little less express between these two. Good. <laughs> it's whiskey it's and whiskey chocolate. chocolate. So I want to address, uh, I'll probably say this, I believe you're setting up the Trans, Trans Panine Express there just a tad early. Huh. Trans, who's been around for a thousand billion years. Thank you so much. Yeah, been here since I was in high school. Now graduated as a chemical engineer. See, it's just, 
it's weird, but it has, yeah, you know, you've been around forever. And yesterday I got my first real paycheck, thought I would share a bit as a thanks for years of entertainment. Now that I can afford it, you're, you're an awesome human being, Quill. Thank you very much. That is, that is more than generous. Thank you. And congratulations. That's awesome. What kind of engineer? Quill feeling old. A little bit. Started watching Quill in high school too. I mean, it's fine that people watch in high school. I mean, I feel old because some of you were, are, that sounds young, but the problem is it's you start in high school and now you're freaking graduated full on adults. And that's like, that makes you realize that time is going by. Stop it, children. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember quotes from Fedora? Fedora? That was annoying. That like, right that just right when I got this fedora, it's the whole thing with my grandfather, it's the whole thing. That's right around the whole like milady thing started then. It's like, god damn it, so then I couldn't wear it anymore. My grandfather uh, collected hats, loved hats, huge collections of them. And I mean, even like baseball caps. Um, he had um, in his basement, he had these like, like strings or ropes or clothing lines or whatever, I don't know. And they were just like all screwed there because you know, you've got the the adjustable bit on the back of the hat so you could just clip around there and he had hundreds of them and everything and yeah it was always cool and then stupid neck beards went and ruined like fancy hats and i don't like wearing baseball caps i don't know if there's a better place to build this we're basically just going down like this slope regardless it's just it is what it is Try to get some max corning on there. I have to pay for the extra platform. Mm -hmm. Well, you can wear it, Essentia. Fine for you. You know, I can start the route now before I've got the rest of the track built. It's actually the platform cost that's adding up here. Manchester, Liverpool. Both apparently make meat. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to build the rest of it later. Don't worry about it, game. I got gotcha. you. Oh, we've got enough here. We can get the Adler! Well, we're definitely going to upgrade to that. Pretty much everywhere. Size foot's all bullshit. Yeah, that's true too. They don't. Some of us has have large heads. Oh yeah. I love the blow horn button. All right. Uh, do we have enough? Maybe not yet. In my career, one of my colleagues got married, had two daughters, had both graduate and start families of their own, and well past the beginning feel old stage. P.S. No wearing a hat since I was a teenager, no planning stopping anytime soon. There you go. You just, just own it. Plus, it also makes sense. It makes a big difference if it's a good hat or like a cheapo. Like, I went to, I paid 20 bucks at Walmart for something. Kind of hat. Done. Wrong way the tracks. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Line mode symbols here are because these are express, express lines. They're in danger because there's a faster train. Yeah, that's tooltip still broken. Um, because of the current trains available, they're expecting a higher average speed. Currently, they're expecting an average speed of 24, which they're barely managing. Um, because the average speed expected for an express route goes up over time. So we will want to go ahead and upgrade those, which we may as well do now. And yeah, I can uh, make sure we're on the Adler. Yeah, we don't have enough money to replace everything. I mean, we could do it piecemeal, but well, yeah. Well, really, we can we can not worry, perhaps, about the... Um, Uh, 
the freight ones because they don't have the same pressure. This is still a better train in general or better engine in general, so we will want to replace all of them. But for now, just to get rid of lightning bolts, the trains we have explicitly set as express and we want them to be express, we'll do that. Hate teen is new innovator, new locomotive conquers Europe. Miracle mix for the week. Fear the police, I'll chase. Plain his wife had left him for a police officer. Fear they might want to give her back. Oh, boo. New speed record, 33 kilometers an hour. Man, we're going quick. Don't you need a supply station near Liverpool? You are absolutely right. Thank you for that. And we're going to want some maintenances as well. We've got one in York, so I can skip Manchester for now. Get one in Liverpool. And then, yeah, Liverpool to Hollyhead. Is it pronounced Hollyhead? It, it wouldn't surprise me if it was something different. Also, is this in Wales? I don't know where the Welsh cutoff is. Like, is the Welsh cutoff here? Is it just here? Ollie Ed, right. You know, you never use your H's unless you're pronouncing herbs. Hollyhead and Swansea are Wales. Okay. Yeah, Swansea for sure. I'd, that one I was pretty confident about. Pronounce Bristol. Is it, wait, is it not pronounced Bristol? Wales borders just left of Liverpool. Okay. Bristol? What? And Birmingham? It's Birmingham, right? Just sort of drop that a little bit. Oh, there's Bristol. This is DLC for this game? Uh, no, this is the base game for um, Railway Empire 2. It's the sequel. Thought it was zoning me out for something. Do, 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 do. We're definitely gonna want to make some moves here. Oh my god! I mean, I know that there's some hilliness around here, but oof. The tunnels and stuff might be unavoidable. Actually, oops, hang on. That's pretty good. I'm going to take it. Oh, who knew that with a little bit of love and attention, you can get tracks that were reasonable. All right, those are going the wrong way. Good. Liverpool. Ollie Head. Man, I'm just getting an express between each one of these first. That's just what I'm setting up. Hey, how come you aren't doing the Adler? By default. Isn't it Holyhead? I know it's it looks like Holyhead, but isn't it pronounced Hollyhead? I could be wrong. It's been known to happen. My uh, the the one I always use an example, and it's not on the map annoyingly, is the the city that is clearly spelled Derby. Except they say Darby. So there's no A. Hollyhead is correct. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Cause I've I've heard it. I've heard it in like British things. Like 
Darby's such like a it's it's great because it's a simple example. Oh yes, Leicester. Yes. Well, all the Cesters all are all like that. Well, actually, okay. Well, Manchester, but well, it's not a Cester; it's a Chester. Manchester is pronounced exactly the way it looks, which makes it pretty impressive. Oh yes, Reading or Reading. Although to be fair, right? It's it's bad in English, right? Red is spelt the same as read, and lead is pronounced it's spelt the same as lead. Because just the English language is terrible and broken. Yeah, Worcester. Although some I think okay, there's a lot of Worcesters out there, and I think some of them are pronounced Worcester, and some of them are Wooster. Because, sure, why not? And none of this is going to matter here too much. Oh, supply. There. Some grains delivered. Londonderry has six silent letters. Wait, how do people pronounce Londonderry? I'm assuming not Londonderry. There you go, new connection done. Hi, Raiders. Thank you very much for the raid. Oh, and QSRX giving me gift subs. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, then there's, yes, the Welsh thing. Lanfair, pugu, pugu, pugu. <laughs> Hi, Quill, would you say this compares to Railroad Tycoon 3? Still have the time. Um, I think Railroad Tycoon 3 is, I think, still the example of... We're going to we're gonna wrap it up here. We're going to switch to another game in a sec here. Um, it's a great example of, like, the strongest economic game. I, I really feel like it's got a very strong economy in that game. That is quite nice. Um, I'd say this might be second closest, second, you know, most kind of complex economy um, and pretty good. And I mean, Railway, Railway Tycoon 3 is great. I love it so much. Um, there's more track stuff to do in this one than Railway Tycoon 3, because um, that one's a little even higher, like just zoomed out a little from a functionality point of view. Um, but the big thing is that this actually kind of works properly on modern computers, which is a big bonus, you know?